Welcome to the Heal Your Gut Guy website. Here I will show you how to fix all of your digestive issues. There's a big list of them down below. I will show you how to heal everything. And it's very easy to do if you know what the root cause is. And to prove to you that I know what I'm doing, um, I can eat whatever I want with zero symptoms and perfectly formed stools and feeling great. This is uh, just some of the junk food I've been eating over the past month to really prove to you guys that I can eat whatever I want with no symptoms, no boring, bland diets. And I've, I've helped many people achieve these results. This isn't a ridiculous amount. This is, too, this is more pizza than the Ninja Turtles eat, guys. This is like way too much pizza, but again, these all came out as perfectly formed stools. Sorry if that was TMI, but that's what we're all striving for, isn't it? This is like, this is just some of the pizza boxes. There's pizza boxes everywhere. So, all right. So I want to share with you my story on how, uh, step by step, how, the journey that I went through to heal my gut. And it was a long journey for me. So I want to share this story with you to save you from all the hardship trial and error, pain, money. I spent thousands of dollars figuring this stuff out. I spent thousands of hours trying different things out. So I wanna save you from all of this headache because you, you can literally cut your symptoms in half in a week, if not 90%. You can literally get rid of all your food intolerances in under a week. It's super easy and you can feel amazing after a month. It is super easy if you address the root cause. So I was just like you. Um, my digestive issues didn't start until about college. I, I had digestive issues. I had diarrhea all the time when I was in middle school and high school, but it didn't get serious until college. That's when I developed a perianal fistula. And at first it showed up as a pimple on my butt, like near my butthole. So it looked like I had two assholes. It was really gross. And I was like, it's not an STD. I don't know what this blood and pus coming out of this thing. I'm still a virgin. There's no way this is an STD. What's going on here? And so we got it checked out by the doctors and they said, you know, that's a perianal fistula and you have Crohn's disease and you're going to be on drugs for the rest of your life. And when I asked them questions like, hey, does diet have anything to do with it? Natural remedies, blah, blah, blah. blah. They said, no, your immune system's attacking yourself. And I went, that sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Diet has nothing to do with it. That sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But eventually I caved and I went on the drugs and I did not get any relief from going on these dangerous, expensive drugs. And I actually got stuck with the bill one time. I got stuck with like a $5,000 bill. They said, you know, your insurance company doesn't cover this, even though I talked to them beforehand. They said, oh, it's covered. And then I got, and then like a few weeks later, I got this huge fat, bill in the mail for like 5,000 bucks. And my doctor was like, well, if this isn't working, we could try like a different drug. Da, 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 da. Guys, these guys are, they are going to rob you blind and pump drugs into you until you're dead. They, they are very dangerous. These, these GI doctors, they're, they're stupid and they're dangerous. They just want your money. They don't care about your health. Um, you know, they've been following the same treatment model for a long time with zero results. They have no passion to discover the true way uh, to heal your gut like I have. And it's very easy. It's very easy to do. So um, I tried, so my first success with natural remedies was going on something called the specific carbohydrate diet. And this is where you like don't eat any starches. It's very similar to like the carnivore or the keto diet or the autoimmune paleo diet. I went on this diet and I felt amazing, but the problem was anytime I ate starches after this, anytime I ate starches, I was thrown into a horrible flare. And you know, this just wasn't possible. Like my social life was suffering so much because like every time you try to eat something tasty, you get thrown into this flare. It was just absolutely awful. And I was spending tons and tons of money on food. And it kind of just got to the point where, you know, it's like, what's the point of living if you can't go to like any social events? You're gonna have to wear like a BDSM like muzzle when you go out to on your birthday with your friends. It's like absolutely ridiculous. No one wants to live this way. Um, you know, I tried 
uh, detoxing, I did coffee enemas, I did colonics, I did acupuncture, I did um, red light therapy, I did yoga, I did the Wim Hof breathing method, I did cold hot showers, you know, all that stuff. I have literally tried everything and I'm here to tell you, none of that stuff works. So, you know, I, I did have a lot of success following an ancestral diet, Weston A. Price diet. Weston A. Price was a dentist in the 1930s who traveled the world and he saw what really healthy populations were eating. They were eating nutrient dense, organic foods. And, you know, I copied that uh, for a very long time and I still was not able to eat regular foods like normal people without symptoms. So there, there was something missing. And, and um, after a few years of doing this, I discovered something called German New Medicine. And uh, this was founded by Dr. Homer and it's, it's a whole new way to think about how, you, how your health works. That's why it's called New Medicine. It is a new way to practice medicine. Because a lot of people get German New Medicine mixed up with thinking happy thoughts and everything's gonna be okay, but it's, it's much, much more than that. Um, it, it shows us exactly what our diseased organs are doing and we don't call them diseased. We, we, we call these diseases significant biological special programs. So for a lot of you, uh, your digestive issue started near the time of a stressful event in your life. And you interpreted this event as an indigestible morsel. This is something that happened, oh, you just, you just can't digest this thing that happened to you. Uh, you know, if, it, if it's gonna register on your small intestine, you're gonna be angry at this thing. Uh, and you'll find yourself, you get angry very easily. These, this is indigestible anger. And so what your body does when this stressful event happens to you and you're trying to process it, um, our, you know, our primal programming kicks in and it gets, goes, okay, Mike needs more gut cells to digest this indigestible thing in his life. So at this time, you're not experiencing symptoms. You might have cold hands and cold feet and elevated blood pressure and your mind's racing about the problem. But on the organ level, your gut, your organs are trying to adapt to help you uh, survive this stressful situation. So it's, you're developing more gut cells, cell proliferation on the gut level to help you digest this indigestible morsel. But then when you resolve the conflict, um, let's say you get broken up with, and oh, you can't believe, oh, she's a jerk or whatever, and when you finally get over it, when you find a new girlfriend or, or whatever, this is when your body goes, okay, I no longer need these gut cells, let's get rid of them. And you're gonna have the blood, the diarrhea, and the gut pain. And then what happens is a lot of us get stuck in this healing uh, through something called tracks. Tracks are, th are things that remind us of this original conflict. So. Um, when you are going through a conflict shock, your, your brain is in a state of hyper awareness. So it's picking up on all the details in the environment when the con the, when this conflict shock is going on. So it's better prepared in the future when, when similar situations arise to help, to help you survive these stressful situations. So a track could be, you know, seeing your ex's face or smelling your ex's perfume or checking your Facebook chat or may maybe she broke up with you through Facebook chat. So now every time you check your Facebook chat, chat you, you crap yourself. So it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, that dog that's afraid of the newspaper because it got beat with the newspaper once. Now every time it sees a newspaper, every time it sees someone go like this, the dog cowers. And that's kind of what's happening on the organ level for us. Every time we, you know, experience a situation, you know, experience encounter a track, our, our gut goes into, you know, fight or flight mode and we, and it runs the symptoms. 
So it's about resolving that emotional trauma, identifying and neutralizing those tracks, recognizing that the conflict is already resolved. And, you know, these details can change depending on whether we're talking about the rectum or the colon or the small intestine or the stomach, the greater and the small curvature. So these, these details uh, slightly change. And we can see this in our brain. When this conflict shop happens, we can see this ring-shaped formation form on our CT scans in our brain. And these rings won't go away until we completely resolve all of this emotional trauma. And then the way that we develop food allergies is, so let's say you resolve this conflict with your girlfriend, you know, you're going out and you're dating again, but then you, you know, you see her Facebook picture or you walk by her and, you know, that activates the track and then you have diarrhea. But then while you're sitting on the toilet, you're going to blame that diarrhea on the, on the dairy, on, on something that you ate that day. And now all of a sudden your subconscious is going to go, okay, this is dangerous. And now all of a sudden, every single time you have gluten or dairy, you're going to crap your pants. It's going to run those symptoms of whichever um, programs run, uh, special programs running on whichever one of your digestive organs. So, and, and this applies to every single organ and tissue muscle in your body. They all have these significant biological special programs to help you survive these stressful situations that you might encounter throughout your life. It's a whole new way to think about how your body operates. It's the blueprint to how, it's the perfect marriage between um, the psychological aspects and the physical aspects of ourself. Our brain controls everything in our body. You know, it's control of everything. And, and then our psyche, um, is kind of pulling the levers on the brain, which, and then the brain kind of tells our organs what to do. And we have this ancient programming, this subconscious ancient programming going on behind the scenes. We have, we have lots of normal programs going on behind the scenes that we're not aware of, breathing, pumping blood and stuff like that. But we have these significant biological special programs that kick in when we experience these, these conflict shocks, these really stressful events um, that, you know, really catch us off guard and, and really stress us out. So it's all a, bi a big part of um, um, healing now is, is using this German new medicine and it, it just gets amazing results. Like food intolerance is gone overnight. Uh, I've seen people gain like 10 pounds in like a month after trying all sorts of crazy remedies and stuff like that. Uh, so, cause because today what you're going to see is in the, in the holistic community, most of the treatments are based around um, fixing nutritional deficiencies, uh, disinfecting and reculturing, and, and detoxing. And guys, I have seen people follow perfect diets for years and have zero results. I've seen people disinfect and reculture for years and years and years and have zero results. And then on the other hand, I've seen people take, like people like my family and my friends, I've seen people take antibiotics, you know, a few times a year and they have no digestive issues. You know, same thing going with a crappy diet their whole life, they have no digestive issues. What's up with that? You know, and then doing tons of detox therapies and stuff like that and they have nothing to show for it. German New Medicine, you know, our, our organs aren't malfunctioning. They're running a significant biological program for too long and, the, and, the, and when they run for t on overdrive for too long, they tend to fall apart. That, that's essentially what's happening. They're, they're not malfunctioning. So yeah, guys, I've, se I've seen amazing re results with German New Medicine, and I'd like to help you guys out, you know, save you from all the pain and money that I wasted trying to figure this stuff out. So I have a ton of free content on YouTube, um, but if you would like to work with me personally, you can do that through the Rapid Gut Healing Program. Now, I normally sell this for $1,000, but it is on sale now for $4.97 and this price will increase unexpectedly. I will not announce it. And we also have um, a payment plan available, um, uh, six months of $97.
and yeah this program comes with over eight hours of a video material for you to watch um, and which goes over you know how to cook your foods the most nutrient-dense foods what foods to avoid and then and German new medicine and, and all sorts of other other good things it comes with a, a workbook this step-by-step -step protocol workbook that shows you everything you need to do step-by-step -step to get better we have a Facebook group where myself and my coaches will answer all of your questions every single day we check it every single day we answer all of your questions and we also have live Q and A's twice a week where everyone comes on and everyone asks their questions and we answer your questions uh, right then and there. You can talk to us on the microphone. And it's just an amazing value. Uh, if you are going to get a therapy session or go to a nutritionist or go to a doctor, it's, it's literally like $200 an hour for them to guide you in the wrong direction. And if you're gonna get a good German new medicine therapist, um, it's going to be at least $200 an hour and many of them uh, don't specialize in gut health issues. So I'm, I'm not saying there's a lot of them. They're, they're great and they're awesome at what they do, but we mostly handle gut health issues. So we are, we are, we are just way ahead of the game when it comes to uh, fixing the gut issues when it comes, when it comes to other uh, uh, German new medicine um, uh, practitioners and stuff like that so yeah guys and it all comes with a if you know if you don't if you're not satisfied with the results we have a hundred percent money back guarantee so we just want to help you guys get better as fast as possible um, but we do have the YouTube channel which is absolutely free we have lots of tons of information uh, there which is much better than other sources of information like I, I've bought many guides pay thousands of dollars for guides and just lead you in the complete wrong direction. I have people coming to me every single day telling me, help, help, help. This protocol didn't work. This diet didn't work. These drugs didn't work. You know, they come into our rapid gut healing program and they get better. There's absolutely no risk. Your, your, um, you know, your risk is covered with that money, money back guarantee. I've literally tried everything. If you're thinking about trying a certain diet or a certain supplement or a certain medication or whatever a certain therapy I've already tried it and I'm gonna tell you it doesn't work and German new medicine is the only thing that I've seen that really gets at the root cause of the problem where you can get off all your medications get off all the boring bland diets get off all the expensive supplements and just be a normal person again where you can enjoy a piece of cake on your birthday go out with your co-workers and have have a beer, go to happy hour, um, going out with your friends and having pizza. It is all possible, guys, and I, and I want to show you how to do this. So thanks for watching. This is my story, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.